The multi-layer ceramic capacitor manufacturing process begins by producing ceramic sheet that is used as the dielectric material in the ceramic capacitor. Ceramic powders are mixed with dispersing agents to make a slurry. The slurry is then milled to stringent process specifications. The slip is filtered, then precisely coated onto carrier film, then dried. Labeled with a manufacturing lot number to ensure traceability and sent to the screen printing process the electrode printing process provides the internal electrodes of a multi-layer ceramic capacitor. This operation is performed in a class 10,000 clean room environment. The electrode ink is used to produce the electrode pattern. A barcoded run sheet is issued to the production floor to ensure that the proper material is received. The internal electrodes are screen printed onto the ceramic tape. The precisely patterned screen is used on the roll screen printer to print the electrodes onto the ceramic tape. The roll screen printer derails the blank ceramic tape, prints the electrode pattern and dries it, then re-reels the printed sheet. The printed ceramic tape is then stacked in an alternating manner to produce the multi-layer structure. The chip buildup operation is also performed in a clean room environment. Reels of blank ceramic tape are first laminated together to provide the bottom cover layer. Printed tape layers are precisely stacked and laminated to create the active portion of the multi-layer structure. Then more blank tape layers are added to produce the top cover layer. Each electrode layer is aligned using an exclusive computer-controlled vision alignment system. Each pad contains thousands of individual chips. The batch ticket remains with the batch throughout the process and is tracked using Kemet's exclusive manufacturing execution system. The pad cutter cuts the multi-layer pad into thousands of individual green ceramic chip capacitors. The separated green ceramic capacitor chips are sent through a bake-out process to remove organic materials introduced in earlier process steps. Green ceramic chips are loaded onto setters, which are then loaded into a bake-out cart. The chips are baked out with a precisely controlled time and temperature profile. After bake-out, the chips are fired in either a batch kiln or a pusher kiln. The previously loaded setters are removed from the bake-out carts and loaded into the firing kilns. During firing, densification of the chip occurs. The volume of each chip is reduced to approximately 50% and the fired chip is now strong and dense. Corner rounding process smooths the chip's surface and rounds off sharp corners to reduce the possibility of chipping or breaking the corners of the chips. Chips are loaded into a bowl with a mixture of water, alumina powder, and media. Chips are unloaded from the bowls, rinsed, and dried. The chips are then separated from the media. The external electrode, or termination, is now applied to allow electrical connection of the device to the circuit. Corner rounded chips are loaded into carrier plates. Precisely aligned pins are used to push one end of each chip in the carrier plate out an exact amount to expose it for the dipping process. The exposed ends are dipped into precisely metered paste with a computer-controlled terminator. The chips and termination plate are then dried in a computer-controlled drying oven. Then the other end of the chip is then exposed, dipped, and dried. The chips are then removed from the carrier plates, loaded into mesh firing baskets, and fired in a multi-zone belt furnace. Copper termination is used for base metal electrode product and is fired in a controlled nitrogen atmosphere. The terminated chips are then electroplated with a nickel barrier layer, followed by an electroplated tin layer. Chips are plated using either an automatic barrel plating process or rotary flow-through plater. The automatic barrel plating line is a continuous operation which is computer controlled and capable of processing a variety of chip sizes simultaneously. 
Chips are loaded into plating barrels with conductive media and plated in the auto line. After plating, the chips and media are removed, dried, and separated. Each batch is tested for solderability to ensure quality. The chips are then 100% tested using state-of-the-art computer-controlled sorting equipment. Each chip is tested to ensure that capacitance, dissipation factor, insulation resistance, and dielectric withstanding voltage are within stringent specifications. Any chip not meeting these limits is removed from the batch. The capacitors are now ready for packaging. During the packaging process, an additional capacitance and dissipation factor test is performed to further ensure quality as well as error-free packaging. The packaged product is then sent to our state-of-the-art distribution center for shipment to customers around the globe. Leading the world in quality, delivery, and performance. Kevitt.